people always say, well, if God's so good, why does he let so much evil happen in the world? Uh, that's why that's why an African uh, prince once came to visit New York, and he, he went to the hospital, and he saw in the operating theater somebody with a, with a mask and a knife and blood all over the place with a bunch of other people with masks and knives. And he says, this is, we don't do stuff like this. It's very cruel. Right. He says, what are you doing to the guy? He says, we're saving his life. Right. This is a hospital. Yeah. So when we think about cruel, it's like the kid says, why are you taking me to the dentist, mom? He's going to hurt me. And he says, no, no. Yeah, but this. we know, we know that that's for the good. But no, it's not for the good. It is, it is good itself. Know, but when we see bad things, when we see no, innocent no. bad things happen to innocent people, it's hard to say, oh, well, we're doctors, we're saving him. We don't no, see that. No, no, we have to understand that. Because you can't see that. We because when you walk that. in the middle of a movie, and you, and, and you see a cop beating up an old lady. Yeah. This is oh, police violence. But if you come in the middle of the movie, you realize that it's not an old lady. It was a guy who just murdered a bunch of people, dressed up like an old lady, and ran away. So, so if we don't understand that what the picture we see is out of context. So explain to me in clear language yeah. what you're saying in metaphor. Basically is when you get the whole picture, it doesn't look like the detail. When you see a detail, the detail is all usually uh, amplified, blown up, magnified. But if you see it in context of the whole picture, which is an ongoing process, which, which is, is impossible for us to do. No, we can do it with our minds. Yeah, but we can't see the whole picture. No, no, but I, we can understand that before we got here, there was a world. Right. And before we were born into this body, we existed in another body. Right. And part of the graduation process is the unfinished business in a past lifetime right. is being rectified at this moment. And sometimes the rectification is going through a challenge to, right. to, to rectify a past situation that was left unrectified. So what you're saying is you just have to understand the whole philosophy behind it. You're never going to understand the specifics, but as long as you understand the whole philosophy, you have to just realize everything is happening for the right, for the reason. Because if you want to define God, it says in Hebrew, teva hatov later, the nature of God is only to do good. Right. So if you see something that's not good, it means that you're misinterpreting what's happening. Right. But you, as far as you're concerned, with your, with your um, uh, short-sightedness, right. you see the thing for what it is. Okay, and so just to take this point to the ultimate extreme, yeah. the Holocaust. Yeah. So what you're saying is ultimately <laughs> the Holocaust was good. It needed to happen for some reason. Not only for, for, for that, but all the events within the Holocaust and the individuals with, and the experiences that they went through. And the result afterwards of the effects on, on mankind and everything else all, was all part of the cosmic process of God continuing rectifying the world to make it a place to reveal his presence in a positive way. But, so, did, but maybe he had to choose a negative thing like that because he needed to wake up every day. I, I wouldn't go as far as to say it's, it, was, it was a horrendous thing. And there's no explanation for the suffering. Right. There's no way a human being today, no matter how smart he is, can justify what happened. But we have to accept the fact that without God, it couldn't happen. Right. And to say that, that he did it because he's bad. Well, how about he was mad? Is that possible? No, no, no. no. He wasn't he, mad. In fact, the guy who did it was the epitome of, of, of social, uh, he was an elected person. Right. of the most advanced society on, on the planet Earth at that time, the German Empire. 